Hi and welcome back to Low Content Resources. My name is Ron Saker and in this video I'm going to show you how to export the Sudoku answers. So this is part 3. So we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did in part 2. Obviously we're going to have the software open. We're going to click on the, the uh, tab tasks and go and do step 1, 2 and 3. So without further ado, let's go do that. So I'm already uh, on that page. So what do we have to do? We've got to click on tasks, uh, select a solution puzzle. I think we've already done that. We can just leave it where we uh, finished off actually for the um, puzzle one. So what we're going to do here is we can leave this for the uh, Sudoku puzzle, the type of layout, but we need to change the layout item from puzzle to solution. And then in here, we're actually going to delete the uh, puzzle name itself because we don't want that in this layout. We just want the solution. And in the solution, we're just going to Roughly set it out here. Go one, whoops, the other way. One, one, two hundred, and two hundred. Okay? Now, do what we did before. We'll leave this as, save this layout as, and in this case, we'll do Sudoku, whoops, and, uh, uh, answer. Okay? And Click OK. So now we know we've got the Sudoku answer layout done and the Sudoku puzzle. Right. So like we did before, let's go to view, print preview, and there's uh, a preview of the answer board all completed. So now we'll go back into print layout, go to tasks, go to export. We leave this as 300. We'll leave the number of uh, puzzles to be uh, printed out as well, 5,000. If you've actually created uh, the 5,000 for the demo, we only did 98, remember? And this one here, this is where it actually finishes, finished off printing the last number for puzzles. So we've got to make sure that this number goes back to 100101. And we don't worry about anything else in here. And we just simply click on export. Again, we don't worry about trying to put it into a, another folder that just doesn't work. I don't know. I never wrote the software, so I don't fuss over it. I just click on save. And of course, that goes back into where the main folder is again that I showed you before. And we're just going to uh, let it go through and print out the 98 uh, solutions. So I'll be back very shortly. So now the 98 images have been uh, created. We're going to do the uh, Control X, and we're going to go going to go back to the uh, folder. with are going to into solution. What the hell's going on? Oh, there they are. Right. So now, what we need to do to prepare these for the Excel um, template and the PowerPoint template is we need to renumber all these uh, images from 1 to 5,000 or in my case it's going to be 1 to 98. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video because I think I've, I've done enough to show you how to how to get in there and find and replace uh, the numbers using the Fast Stone uh, image renumberer. <laughs> renumberer. Um, Okay, just before I finish up on the video here, uh, one of the things uh, I want to make quite clear to you here is that you can uh, change the width and the height. If you don't want to want the, the end image to be 200 by 200, you want it larger or smaller, then this is where you, you do it from these controls here. Uh, it's really easy to do. And then just save that as your layout and you're good to go. All right, well, that's enough for me, and we'll catch up with you in future training videos. Bye for now. Catch you later.